Well, that was pretty anticlimactic. Who knew? Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Episode 8, Club 3 with Lester in our FM21 Journeyman series. Don't forget, daily football manager content, Monday through Saturday. Please hit the like button if you like what I'm doing here and want to see more of it. And if you don't want to see more of it, I'm going to keep doing it. So hit the like button anyway, right? Uh, also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the daily upload content. We've got a lot going on. Uh, we have clinched promotion, uh, and that was due to Norwich losing 3-1 to Wickham. Uh, in the early match, we're playing Wolves in the later match today. Uh, so that was a little anticlimactic. And Everton beat Watford 1-0 to go up three points as they continue to not lose games very disappointing, Everton. You're killing me here. Uh, so anyway, we have gained promotion, automatic promotion. That's fine. Um, we have the initial budgets. Do we want to look at them? I guess so. I guess so. 10.89 on payroll and 73.5 on transfer. So we've got about 4.1 million in payroll. And yeah, we'll be we'll be fine with the seventy three million. Uh, not you know we haven't spent anywhere close to our transfer budgets yet. They're pleased to have won promotion. Praise goes to Raging Cajun, ensuring a club of Leicester stature would no longer be playing in the championship. And I agree. Much like Leeds, don't need to be there. Don't need to deal with that crap. <laughs> right. So let's see club info. So, recently relegated in 52-53 and lost in the playoffs last year. So, yeah, they've been yo-yoing around for, well, that was their, own, their last year. Their last year in the, in the premiership was 36-37. So, 18 years and only one season in the premier. So, we're definitely still rich. Our reputation ought to go up going back into the Premier, but we've been in the championship, uh, even getting relegated to League One back in the 40s. So that was kind of crazy. Let's check out our med center. We have got some major medical issues. Stigen Henson's a hip injury. He'll be out for two months. Keeper Jay Gibbons, he'll be out four to five more weeks with knee tendonitis. Menza, Got a concussion. He'll be out another week and a half. And Sebastian Amon, he's going to be out another week. So those are some devastating injuries, especially Gibbon uh, to us. Taking a look at But El Butabi, uh, three. Uh, he has yet to make his debut. We've been on a two-week uh, international break, so he's going to get his debut today. Although I don't know if we're just going to show highlights or the full match because if we have a chance for promotion well in fact i think i just answered my own question we can't win the league today so we're guaranteed playoffs let me come back whenever we are actually in a position to possibly play for the league title let's do that all right we played everton we were both tied actually we had taken a one point lead uh they they had a loss and we got a draw. And uh, so this was the match. They're in the blue. They got the early goal on El Batabi. Uh, our reserve keeper is still playing due to that injury. We'll probably finish the season with him. Rush then comes in, beats his man to the end line, lays it off to Nagami. He takes a crack in, and Mensa finds himself in the middle of a pack right in front of the goal mouth, and he puts that one in. This was his first game back from injury, and he responded with a much-needed equalizer. And there's a through ball where he timed his run perfectly. He gets a brace, and that gave us the 2-1 advantage. We would make that stand up. 
we would have the advantage on shots and possession and a huge 2-1 win. Taking a look at the schedule since last episode, uh, the 5-2 win over Wolves. Cernan with a hat trick in that one. Mikatin and Romain with goals. Aston Villa, a 4-4 draw. Felix scored in the opening minute. Michael McNeil scored on a header. Cernan and Lindorfo on a header as well. Look at the minutes. All four of our goals in the first 47 minutes. Mike Davies got one in the 34th minute. We were leading this game 4-1 until the 79th minute they got three goals in 11 minutes to equalize i was furious and then the win over everton so right now we are currently four points up plus the goal differential with three games left to play i wanted to show you the highlights from the everton match but we are still looking to clinch the league, so that's what we will try to time that out. Uh, we have Norwich, Hull, and QPR coming up. So we'll just be back for whatever match is on the docket for us to possibly clinch silverware. All right, we are coming back for Hull, which is the next to last match of the season. We're currently on 33 wins. The championship record is also 33 wins. So one win in our last two games, we will break the league record. We've already broken league and club scoring records. Uh, I think we've got a point place for uh, point records, both for club and league. Some of that's gonna have to wait, but let's take a look at what has happened. After the Everton match, we beat Norwich 5-0, Romain with a brace, Carpenter with a brace, and Cernan with another goal. Taking a look at the squad, Cernan is on 31 goals, 29 for Romain, 28 for Mikatin, 23 for Menza. Gomez Santos got into double digits with 13. Carpenter's up to 8 as Nogomi is stuck on 8, uh, trying to get to that number 10 on the season, but their opportunities are fading. But that's 124 goals between our top five scores. That's insane, insane. And uh, you can see we're on plus 115 on the season. Uh, that's, uh, I'm pretty confident saying that's the best season I've ever had uh, in Football Manager. From a goal differential. Now I have had an invincible season once, uh, but this prolific, even even the season that I had with Leeds a couple of years ago, where I had I think I had a 50 goal score, possibly 60 goals. It was, but he scored all the goals. There was like literally nobody else. Uh, that contributed. So this has been a team effort by far. Let's get into today's match, see if we can raise some silverware and get to the trophy stand. Taking a look at the injuries, Henson's, Romain are both out injured. Romain got hurt again uh, in the Norwich match. He'll be out for a week, probably done for the year. He might be back for the season finale, but Injury-wise, uh, Henson's is the only other one still out long-term, and he'll be out another seven weeks. So he's definitely done for the year. Uh, we've had, uh, we lost one of our coaches, I'm sorry, we lost one of our scouts to be chief scout at another club. We got $170,000. He wasn't one of our best scouts. So we also got an expansion from seven to 10. So I've got four scouts to hire, and we also got uh, an expansion to our coaching staff by one. So we've got offers out for that as well. Very, very good at uh, judging player ability and uh, potential. I think he was the guy we offered is 15 in both. So hopefully he's coming in. Uh, Gibbon, we're gonna leave him on the bench just for emergency. Uh, it's going to be Mike Atten and Cernan up top. Chasson will move on to the left wing with the injury. Uh, Mensa on the right. He's back to full fitness. Nagami and Wheel in the middle. 
Rush, McNeil, Lindorfo, Felix, and El Butabi, El Butabi uh, in goal. Oh, I know, you know, a lot of the guys that I watch, you know, Lelujo, you know, he, he wins four titles or, you know, whatever in a season. And I, you know, I'm, I'm always a little envious of that. And, um, you know, but I don't judge myself against somebody like that. Um, at any level of what I do here, wheel, Breaks in a good layoff. Mince is in space. He's into the box and it's hooked out of play. And it's going to be a corner. But, oh man, I am excited when we do win silverware. Just, you know, much needed and always a good thing. Oh, there's a good outlet pass to Bush Swarishich. And our defense has to step up. Mensa with the header out. Nobody there in the mid to pick it up, though. Be nice to be able to get a counter going on here. I'm different perspective on the on the living room now, of course, with the new setup and uh, not having the green screen. Before the green screen blocked off my view of the entire living room, and now I can see everything. So. You know, I'm, I'm watching the cats and seeing what they're doing, and pretty crazy. Cernan is making a run. Nagami finds Wheel. He puts a play through. I don't know if that was a pass or a shot, but either way, it comes up short. We do have rain falling today, and our last couple of matches, we have kind of struggled in the weather. Wheel can't get to that ball. I need a little bit better effort from you there, buddy. Like that. Good job. Mensa. Chacon. Back to Rush. Into the box. Chacon is there. And it's blocked away for a corner. I think it was Tiago Jose with the save. 95% passing. They've got an edge on us in possession, strangely enough. Chasson runs it down. Mikaton. Loses it. Oh, and we just get picked apart right there. Nagami finds the ball. They don't get a good outlet. Mensa runs deep into the corner. And it's over the keeper's head, but nobody was there to make a play. Oh, that was disappointing. Where was Mikaton? Big challenge. They get the ball and get it clear. Sanchez beats McNeil. McNeil with the tackle. And that goes all the way back to El Butabi. El Butabi. I'm thinking that's Butabi. I'm thinking. We've got four shots, just one on target. Hull looking for their first shot. There's a big outlet. Oh, Mikaton. He's got two guys in front of him. He takes a crack from range. Hull is not a sellout. Look at all the empty seats. Not a surprise. Not a surprise. Chasson runs it down, brings it back up, blocked away by Bush Schwarzitz. Sukara, I don't know. Bush. Bush beer. <laughs> Come on, fellas. Let's demand more. We've got a yellow on wheel. And we just opened up for that throw in there. Rush get, cuts off the pass across the field. Chasson making a run. Mikaton and Cern, and he takes a crack. A little greedy there. He had two strikers in front of him, but, you know, he hadn't gotten a lot of playing time this year since coming on in the winter transfer. So I guess you can't blame him for taking a crack at it. I am really glad the injury. Oh, there's a run on by Sir. Oh, the keeper beat him. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't get upended. <laughs> there's a shot. What a save. And Mikaton runs it into the goal. Literally just walked it in. His 50th goal for the club. And we take a 1 0 lead. 
And remember, a victory in either one of the two matches or a point coupled with a loss by Everton secures the championship for us. Let's encourage him now. And Dorfo lays that off. Wheel makes a run. Mensa cuts inside of him to give him an outlet back there. There's a crossover. The header's in. It's Chasson and his first goal for the club. And what a time to get it. 2 nothing in the 29th minute. Oh, can you feel the weight? Can you feel the weight of the trophy in your hands? We don't want to get too... We don't want to get too overconfident. El Batabi. Lindorfo. Come on. There's the lump out. Mikatan finds wheel in open space in the center circle. He's up into the into a, the channel and it's slotted home. Mikatan gets his 30th of the season. Now it's 3-0. And that probably well, we did give up three goals in eleven minutes to Aston Villa. So let's not count our chickens. And if you're watching in another part of the world, I don't know what you I don't know what you count there. But we have a saying here in the States, don't count your chickens before they hatch. Mensa! Oh, it rattles off the crossbar. Oh, he's gonna be upset he missed that one. Mikeaton with a brace today. He take uh, he that was a little optimistic, a little greedy there. Nagomi, uh, just too many bodies there in the center. I think they should have played it back or passed it to the outside. I think we're going to make a couple of changes at the half. Well, no, because we haven't won anything yet. We have not won anything yet. Oh, they've got a corner. They have yet to have a shot today. Oh, what a save by El Batabi. Oh, my goodness. That was huge. Nagami, wheel, teaming up in the midfield. Chasson, rush inside. Lays it into a channel. Felix is on it, but there was an offsides. Not sure who that Cernan was offsides. And it's the half. 3 nothing. Pleased with your performance. Keep it going. Oh, there's a nice ball. And there's a foul on Felix. No card, so that's good. Nagami's picked up a yellow. Tell you what, let's move uh let's move one of those guys off. I'm gonna pull Nagami for day. And you know what? Let's bring I'm gonna bring Kolik on for wheel. Now I'm gonna switch him over to a Mazala. That'll give us more of an outside presence over there with him coming in. Yeah, I'm good with that. We'll replace both of our yellow cards, get fresh legs on in the midfield. A couple of guys that don't play as much as maybe they could or should. I tell you what, the one thing I've had the hardest time in this save is trying to stay away from the transfers. And like this transfer window probably shouldn't have been done. I probably shouldn't have signed any of these guys. I probably should have been happy with the club that had us at the top of the table. That would have been the Bielsa thing to do. There's Day. He takes a crack, and it's in off the post. His seventh goal of the season. And that has got to be the icing on the cake here, fellas. That has got to be the icing on the cake, I would think. 4-0. 52nd minute. Come on, boys. Let's praise. There's Kolik. Menza. Plays it out to Felix. Into Day. Day finds Mikatan. 
Kolek takes a crack, and I think that would have been a debut goal for well, not a debut, he's played. That would have been his first goal of the season. It's a flick on header. McNeil is beaten, and there's the shot. El Batabi makes the grab. We have a 3.04 to 0.28 XG advantage. Chasson gets the ball. There's a cross in near post. Back to Day. Another cross, and Menza puts it over. Goal kick. By the way, if you guys have any idea how to get this box to disappear during the highlights like this, I thought it was supposed to, and I thought earlier in FM21 it did. So I don't know why it persists here. If I hit that, what does that do? Hold on. That made it go away. McKenna. That's not our guy. Nope. Okay. Well, I didn't know that that's what that did. Very, very good. Now, it'll be interesting to see if that pops up again when there is an actual in-between highlights. Cernan into the box. He takes a crack at it. Not a great effort. And knocked out a play. 67th minute. Rush, Cernan. Cernan nursing a slight injury, possibly. I'm trying to see if he is showing up. He doesn't appear to be have an injury on his name. Both of our wingers are a little tired now. There's Mikaton. Cernan not showing an injury. Good ball into Cernan. I think he was a little far outside. Back to Kolick. A second attempt. Oh, my God. <laughs> How many tries are we going to get at that? Oh, come on. All right. Let's go ahead and pull. Chasson is really tired. So is Rush. He's on the left. You know what? I'm going to move. Who do I move over there? Pachinko can move in the middle. So let's move McNeil into Rush's spot. We're going to pull Rush for Panchenko. He's finally come back uh, from his vacation. And now he has said he's happy to stay here. He wants to be with Lester. And he's no longer homesick. So we'll see. We'll see what that does. I don't know. Uh, I think his contract may end up being something that makes us move him on, but we'll see. Tell you what, we're going to drop from attacking to positive. Oh, and the keeper was down on the floor, but luckily the defender got a foot in there. 83rd minute. 4-0. Oh, wide open. Oh, and he flubs it. Luckily, it goes wide. Got through his hands and went off his right foot, I think, and it just drifted wide of the goal mouth. That would have been a horrible goal to concede. Day's trip by Sanchez. We're going to get the free kick out of that. They pick up a corner. They are looking the more dangerous side, but I think it's too little too late. And when I say the more dangerous side, I mean just here in the last few minutes. Oh, my goodness. There was an offsides, but that was a beautiful shot by Devlin. I think it was Goodridge that was offsides. Oh, yeah, Goodridge, Sanchez. Devlin, I think, was onsides. But there were two guys in front of the goal that were off. 30 shots, 10 on target, 4 in the net. Horrible throw. My goodness. Day, Menza, McNeil. Oh, McNeil took a crack at it. Cernan tripped in the box, but not a not a foul. Three minutes, three minutes, two minutes left. Oh, I feel the celebration coming. Even if Everton win, three points keeps us four up with one to play. So this would clinch it. Oh, beautiful through ball. Cernan's there. 
And he missed it. Oh, my goodness. How? How did he miss that? Devlin. Oh, good clearance out. And there's the whistle. And we should climb the trophy stand. No? Oh, that's that's a letdown. We sealed the title. We 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 don't get a trophy? No trophy? Hello? When do we get the trophy? No trophy. But there's the confirmation. Is it something in the championship that they don't present it till the last game? Oh, come on. Chasson, 10 key passes, 1 goal, 1 assist. Beautiful passing and playmaking. He's really come on with some assists. Well, actually, he's filled in well in that playmaker role over there. We're still not showing as champions. Weird. So maybe I'm going to have to play the last game, and maybe we get the trophy after the last game, even though we've won. We've got to we've got to see us climb this stand, you know, the trophy stand and and make get the trophy presentation, right? Record high number of wins, a new championship record with 34. All right, well, I guess I'm going to go play QPR and then we won't watch that game, but if assuming we get the trophy, we'll come back and at least show that because that's going to be very disappointing if we don't actually get the trophy on the field. I'm I'm a little bitter here. All right, well, let's get up to QPR, and at whatever point we cut in, uh, it should be for the trophy presentation. So we will see you guys back whenever that happens. All right, I've come back with about 12 minutes left in the match. We've made all of our subs. We're up 1-0. And 2-0, Michael McNeil just put in his fourth of the season off of a deflection. That's going to clinch this game for us, I think. I don't know if we're going to climb the trophy stand or not. If we don't, I'm going to be very disappointed. McNeil just sitting at that near post. The ball got past him, came back to him, and he made that attempt count. 3.57. We are just not putting in as many of our chances. We've had some real good chances. And there's a header that just goes missing. I hope we climb the trophy stand. And we don't. What the hell? Football manager's broken. It's broken, I tell you. Why? We won the league. It's not even showing us as champions. Shouldn't it do that? I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to save this because that's a potential bug. I mean, this is our first title since the winter update, and that could be something that got broken, right? And there's our end of season review. All right, well, guys, <laughs> anticlimactic. We knew we won the league. In fact, I want to get out of here. I want to go look at the league table. Now it shows us as champions. We win the league by seven points, a plus 121 goal differential, but we never get to climb the trophy stand. I feel like I've just missed out here. I, I really feel hard done by. The game has completely and utterly screwed me over, and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> I'm not happy about it. All right, guys. Well, we won the league. We'll be in the Premier League next year. Next episode will be the end of season review and transfer special for the Premier League. So uh, look forward to that. Uh, and, uh, hey, hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. 
And don't forget, hit that notification bell. Daily Football Manager content here Monday through Saturday. Thanks so much. Take care, guys. Bye.